What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Those of you stopping by for the first time, do me a real quick favor. See that red subscribe button down below? Go ahead and push that and show you support for the channel. Those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So, it's that time once again. It's the weekly rotation. It's week 16. Stay tuned. so starting off on Sunday, Sunday was kind of a essential obsessions type of day. I was just in the mood. I was grabbing things, didn't know what to wear, sniffing, 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 and came across Double Aventus Baccarat Rouge 540. This stuff smells incredible. Performance is not its strong suit. I only get about five hours with it. I don't know what's the deal with the batch on performance, but you want to talk about a layering. If you have Aventus Cologne, Aventus, and Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau de Parfum, Try layering them. I'm sure it's incredible because the clone of those fragrances mixed together smells absolutely wonderful. Shout out to you, Kevin. This was a great idea. Oh, this stuff smells so, 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 so good. This is one I would put up there with Andy Warhol as a must buy from Central Obsessions. Um, very, very good fragrance. Three really good fragrances mixed together and the scent, it just works. It smells great. High compliment factor. Problem is on my skin, five hours and I don't really smell it much anymore. It's kind of a skin scent at that point uh, and not real detectable. But for about the first hour and a half, it's pretty good projection and it's putting out there. And people are gonna love the way you smell and you'll love the way you smell. And once again, that's a Double Aventus 540 from Sensual Obsessions. And then sticking with Sensual Obsessions, as most of you know, on Sundays I do shave my head and my face, which later tonight I will be doing so. And after I shaved, I went with Sensual Obsessions Andy Warhol aftershave balm and Essential Obsessions Andy Warhol beard oil. I did put a little bit of beard oil. Even though my beard's not super burly right now, it's still got enough length to where the hairs can get real scraggly. So I do use a little bit of oil here and there. Use a daily beard wash to kind of tame it and keep it conditioned. And I'll tell you what, I was smelling great with this. If you were debating on trying these from Essential Obsessions, give them a try because they're cheap. They're not going to break the bank and they smell great, especially if you like Andy Warhol. He has other scents. Um, I haven't smelled the other ones, but I'll tell you what, the Andy Warhol scent that he has from Bond Number no. 9, oh, it's so, so good. So finishing up on Sunday, was it was Essential Obsessions type of day with the Andy Warhol aftershave and beard oil. Moving on into Monday, I actually did a full review of this fragrance. Um, Pleasantly surprised, it's, it's an Aventus clone from Mercedes. It's Mercedes-Benz Select. And it does give you the Aventus, the Aventus vibe, but at the same time, it kind of does its own thing. If you want to watch that review, I'll put that right there for you. Feel free to check that out. If not, that's okay. But for the $27 to $31 you can find this for, depending on Cap, eBay, FragranceNet, there's a lot of ways to get it. It's in around $30. It's a damn good $30 fragrance. Performance is not its strong suit, but I'll tell you what, this atomizer, oof, it's top notch. It's bordering, it's not Dior quality, but it's definitely Jimmy Choo Man. For those of you that have any Jimmy Choo Man fragrances, ice or intense or blue or any of them, they have great atomizers. It's pretty much the same atomizer. And the scent on this one's great. If you like a smooth ambroxan, not a sharp metallic ambroxan, with a little bit of black currant, a little bit of apple, kind of give a fruity and broxen type Aventus vibe. This might be the one for you. I really enjoy this and this is gonna get a little bit of rotation this spring from me. So Mercedes-Benz Select. And then later that evening, once I got out of the shower, Nautica Voyage N83. The minty take on the Voyage DNA is how I like to look at it. Very good fragrance. Atomizers are nothing special obviously, but that don't matter. They're cheap, you're buying them for the juice inside and I can tell you right now, N83 it's some good stuff. Moving into Tuesday. So uh, this is another one I did a review for. Instead of putting eye cards for all of these, uh, I'll just link. Did I do a review on this one? I did not do a review on this one. I still need to shoot that review. Never mind. Disregard that part. Uh, but anyways, what fragrance are we talking about? Cool Water Intense. 
Bubblegum blue fragrance basically is how you can look at it. And powerful. And Broxen heavy, even though Ambroxan is not listed in the notes. You can definitely tell there's some Ambroxan. It's got a bubblegummy vibe. It's very amber dominant. The coconut doesn't really jump out at me, but the amber does. And this one's potent and powerful. So much better than the original, it's not even funny. And you can get them cheap. Another one you can get right around $30 pretty much everywhere. It's in that cheapy territory now at this point. And it's one that's going to, another one that's going to be getting decent run from me this spring because this is a damn good fragrance. It's cool water and tense. <clears throat> and then later that night when I got out the shower, a little cheapy you can get for $8 when you see them at the rack stores. Uh, it's from American Eagle. It's Surf. I want to say on the box it said Into the Surf, but on the bottle it says Surf. It's been a while since I threw away the box. Very good atomizer for being a cheap, you know, teenage clothing store type of fragrance. But out the shower, Citrus Aquatic Weak Performer, right up my alley. This stuff just works. If you want to just freshen up, this is a good refresher type fragrance where if you're just in a pinch and need to freshen up real quick and keep it in the gym bag, it's, it's one of those types of fragrances. It's cheap, you can spray it heavy, and you're just going to smell fresh. And that is American Eagle Surf. Moving into Wednesday, one that's not a favorite among a lot of people, but after I brought up my seven unpopular fragrances that I happen to love video, and this was the last one I talked about, in the comments there's quite a bit of people that watch me that seem to like the fragrance and I do appreciate you and I agree with you because it's Spice Bomb, Night Vision. Yeah, it's another one, bubblegum fragrance. If you don't like bubblegum fragrances, you're not gonna like some of these. <laughs> it's just how it is. Oh, but it smells very good and it dries down a little spicier. In the opening, you would not think this is a Spice Bomb fragrance. For the line, it doesn't match. But once it dries down, some of the black pepper and, and things in the pimento, start to rear their head a little bit more but the open it's very mass appealing youthful you know teenager type of fragrance bubble gum that's really what it's got going but it smells really good if you can get the pack past the fact that it smells it reminds you of a lot of bubble gum type fragrances it does smell really good so on what day was that wednesday i had wore spice bomb night vision and then later that night Way, way, way too much performance for bedtime because I typically like them weak. But I was sniffing out the atomizer and it just, I said, screw it and sprayed it on. Essential Obsessions is their formulation of Invictus Aqua 2016. This batch is back from November. I haven't smelled any of the more, I mean, I have some of the more recent batches. The performance isn't that great. This is not the case. This is a monster. This has the original Invictus Aqua 2016's performance. It projects, it smells almost one to one, and it's one I strongly advise. The reason the bottle's so full was I had a little decant that he initially sent me that I poured in there, and the only reason I even have that little bitty bubble is because I've been spraying it recently because this thing was smack dab full, about to pour out when I was screwing it back on after I poured that 5 ml in there. So it's chock-a-block full. This is a 50 ml. It's going to last a long time. I was talking to Matt earlier, Georgia Gent, and I was telling him we were talking about bat strengths and stuff like that for Central Obsessions. And I brought this up, how I wore this this week. And I woke up the next morning and it was still rolling off my skin. So if you can get some of the older batches that he's still available on, stuff that's not real popular from him, they're older batches and they're still going to have a lot of power. So that was Invictus Aqua 2016 from Central Obsessions. Moving into Thursday, this was actually a 5ml decant sent out to me by one of the subscribers, and he's also in TLTG Reviews Fragrance Lounge, uh, buddy Chris. He saw me talking about wanting to get Fahrenheit 32. So he said, hey, that's super overpriced. Let me send you a decant so you can try it. You can do a review, see if you like it before you spend all that money on a bottle. So that's what I wore, Dior Fahrenheit 32. Another one that I did a full review on, I'll put that at the end of the video. If you'd like to watch that, by all means. If not, that's okay too. Um, this one surprised me. The vetiver is very earthy and very strong. And uh, I was quite shocked. And from all the leaking that thing has done, you can see where the FAR has faded off on it. Because <laughs> every time... I go to push this down, it creates an air pocket and sprays it. So I got to slowly push it down, but that's irrelevant. The fragrance though, vanilla bomb, heavy floral in the opening, fleshy orange blossom with a dirty earthy vetiver dry down. It's not what you would think for a heavy vanilla fragrance. It's very different. 
and does not smell like Fahrenheit in any way, shape, or form. It's discontinued and it's fetching a crazy price, $150 range for 50 mLs. So be on the lookout. This is definitely one to try before you buy. If you are interested in it, get a decant or a sample from somebody before you commit because it's, I can see this one not being for everybody. And after reviewing it, it's okay. I like it, but I don't know if it's worth what it would cost to get it. So, and that's Fahrenheit 32 from Dior. And then later that night, speaking of amazing smelling citrus fragrances with terrible performance, Jimmy Choo Man Ice. You can see the dent I'm starting to put in there. This is a 50 ml bottle. I think on my next fragrance net order, I'm gonna grab 100 ml. Cause I, when I spray this one, oh, I love that atomizer. When I spray this one, I spray it heavy. And I have to refresh often. So this is one that if you're gonna get, be prepared to spray a lot because the performance is terrible, but the smell is incredible. I have to say, this is a great smell. It smells very similar to Mercedes-Benz Cologne and Dior Homme Cologne, but kind of the dry down's a little bit different, but the openings, that, that ice cold lemonade that everybody talks about, oh, it smelled so good. I sprayed heavy on my shirt so I could smell it going to bed. I get about three, four hours. It's nothing special. The performance is awful, but the scent is incredible and you can get it cheap. So just spray away. But Jimmy Choo Man Ice was on Thursday night out the shower. Moving into Friday, one that I haven't worn since the fall, and I figured it was time. Mont Blanc, Individuel. That's really what's going on. That, that cap, the way it's, it looks like there's no dent in there. There's a dent in there. And I oversprayed. I did. Three hours into this one, I unbuttoned my shirt, sprayed my chest twice, sprayed my neck again. I refreshed early. I refreshed two times, and I, you absolutely don't need to. I don't know about newer batches. Mine's about two years old, but this one performs. This is a good seven hour fragrance with strong projection for about two hours. And I just wanted to keep smelling it heavy and smelling it heavy because I love the way it smells. Raspberry, clean linen, very sandalwood, creamy, dry down. Creed Original Santal, but cheaper and more synthetic is how you can look at it. It's a great fragrance. It's one, like I said, I kept spraying it just because I wanted to keep smelling it heavy because I love the way this one smells. Great for the office. You can wear it year round, maybe go a little easy on the trigger in the summer, but just an all around versatile cheapy that is incredible. It's been talked about to death on YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on because there's not much you haven't heard about Mont Blanc Individuel. And then later that night, my favorite out the shower fragrance, Nautica Classic. This is my stuff right here. Oh, it's so good. And it's macerated heavily because this is, few years old this bottle um, and I'm getting past I'm past the halfway point um, I would say before I need another bottle I'm looking at at least another year and a half probably and I spray this one weekly four or five sprays at least once a week sometimes twice a week oh, I love how it smells very marine very salty marine aquatic not everybody's gonna be a fan don't matter to me. I'm a huge fan. This is my favorite nautical fragrance. And it's my favorite thing to spray out the shower. And you can get them for $10 online everywhere. What do you have to lose? It's worth it. Give it a shot. And that's Nautica Classic. Moving into Saturday. Game day. It was kind of cool. So I wanted to wear something a little bit heavier. And this is another one. Didn't need to refresh. But I did anyway because I wanted to smell the opening again. And this is from Prada. This is Loam Intense. Recently won a backup bottle in a raffle on Facebook. Oh God, that smells so good. So, and I was like, well, I got freaking 200 ml of it now. So why not spray it heavy? <laughs> so I'm a little bit more reckless abandoned. I spray with a little more reckless abandon now when I wear it. And uh, it's been a little while since I've worn it. And I was just in the mood for it. God, it smells so good. This is a wet patchouli leather tonka bean take on the Prada Loam DNA. The, the, iris is very present it's not soapy because you lose the neroli and any lavender or anything like that so the soapiness of it goes away but a, a nice smooth leather sweet powdery tonka bean and like a wet patchouli really shine in this one a lot of people will tell you this is the best one in the line and i can see why people say that because the whole the line's great i love all three of the ones i have but at the end of the day the original is is the one in my opinion, but the two flankers I have, low and intense, are still great. Prada, Loam, Intense. Don't sleep on it. It's not gonna be here forever. 
And then that night out the shower, one I haven't worn in a while, the origi original Nautica Voyage. I don't really wear this one out the shower a whole lot because I do get about six hours. And when it's super hot during the summer, I do like to spray this one. This dent is not from spraying out the shower. This dent is from wearing to work. <laughs> I like to wear this one out and about. That's why I really typically don't spray this one out the shower because it's kind of a, a daily driver in the summer type of thing for me. I like to spray this one early, often, and heavy when it's those 105 degree days that feel like 117 with the heat index. Yes, living in the South, that's just what it is. But out the shower that night, the original Nautica Voyage. So that is the rotation for the week. Before you go, do me a real quick favor and go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback. Would you guys wear this week? I had more cheapies than I initially planned, because, I mean, I didn't plan anything. I just rolled with it this week. There was no doing a Mancera week, a Dior week, or anything like that. Uh, in the upcoming week, I'm kind of debating on doing a blue week. Not necessarily just blue fragrances, but, you know, blue bottles in general. Um, like, for example, today, my scent of the day, YSLY EDP. As you can tell, that's a Michael Dinsmore decant. I, decant. I did win this in a Michael Dinsmore raffle. Shout out to you, Mike. Making sense. Because I haven't really given it the kind of wear I've needed to. I haven't put much of a dent in it. This is my first full wear, and I've tested it on my arm a few times. Um, I know Ashton's a real big fan of it. This is one of his favorite blue fragrances. And, you know, I get it. I see the mass appeal on it. Um, it smells okay. I'm still trying to figure out if it's full bottle worthy for me. Um, I think I will end up getting one because I do enjoy it. It's very versatile. Good scent trail in the air. People like it. Dumb reach type stuff. I'll probably get a full bottle of this here before long but until next time i will say if you get your hands on any of these you give them a spray now i'm pretty confident that you'll thank me later have a good one guys